Wes here with Airstream Wanderings. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to fire some replica pottery with clay dug in my backyard. And we're going to fire it in my backyard on this fire pit using charcoal. Stick with me. This is a fire pit that I purchased used on Craigslist and it's about 30 inches wide so I think it's large enough to build a regular fire in and that's what I'll normally do. I'm using charcoal today partly as an experiment but also just to control fire and sparks. Things are very dry here right now and I want to be careful not to make a bigger problem. At this stage of the game I am just uh, getting things started here and warming up the pottery, then I will build the main fire afterwards and actually get it all uh, fired. And we'll see what happens. I have some old barbecue grates that I've got here and then I'll fill those up with charcoal. In a Tony Soros uh, video, he suggested starting the fire from the very top so the uh, fire got going more slowly and we reduced the likelihood of thermal shock. I think that's a good idea. The idea of the grates is to corral in the charcoal so that it gets up close to the pots and I don't have to use quite so much of it. I started the fire from the top, but there were still some hot coals down below, and so that's really where uh, the fire is getting going. Okay, most of the coals are now burning, and it's not going to get a whole lot hotter than it is right now. I was able to get a temperature on one of the pots, and it was 1,479 degrees. Hopefully we'll do a little better than that. We are almost an hour into the firing now. Good news is I haven't heard any pings. I haven't heard any pottery breaking and it's about as hot I think as it's going to be. The temperatures I've received so far are just a little less than 1500 degrees so I'm going to uh, give our fire a little encouragement with this. I'm sure this did not exist uh, seven or eight hundred years ago. Let's check the temperatures now. Sixteen hundred degrees, sixteen hundred and fifty. I've consistently been able to get temperatures over fifteen hundred degrees, but generally not more than sixteen hundred degrees. At this point, I think the fire has done as much as it's going to do. So my plan now is just to uh, let it burn out and cool down slowly. Hopefully we don't get any cracking in the final stage. This whole process started about two hours ago and it's going to take probably another hour for this to kind of cool down. Also I used about 18 to 20 pounds of charcoal. Uh, for this firing. This is the end result. Uh, as near as I can tell there aren't any clack cracks. Everything seems to be in good condition. It has a nice uh, little ring to it. 
Once it cools off a little more, I can tell better, but at this point, I'm happy. The firing is done, the pots are cooled, and I'm sitting in my workshop and looking back, I am happy with the entire experiment. Uh, the fire pit worked well. It's large enough, so I'm sure that I can use regular wood to build a fire. I'll do that when we have better conditions for that. But with charcoal, that worked great. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Now, did Native Americans use charcoal? Actually, I don't know. I do know that some parts of the world fire hand-built pottery like this with charcoal. And I also know that in some cases, Native Americans used coal. Uh, so charcoal isn't totally out of the question. Using a leaf blower obviously is. It did make a difference. It pushed that temperature up to 1600 degrees. Without the leaf blower, I was regularly getting like 1475 degrees, which is probably sufficient. And so all of that worked fine. Now, how about the pottery? Well, 100% success, and I don't always get that. Uh, no breakage whatsoever. This is a pot used local, uh, locally sourced clay. Uh, decent ring to it. Uh, that turned out fine. Had a little, another pot made out of the same clay. I just wanted to check out uh, what the colors would look like if you use blacks and reds. And then the final pot I made, this is a brown clay that I sourced in Arizona. Uh, the white turned out kind of on the yellow side, but otherwise I am pleased with it. That has a good ring to it as well. So success on all fronts, so that makes for a happy day. And if you are happy about this video, please give me a thumbs up. I uh, appreciate that. And until next time, uh, this is Wes wishing you Happiness, health, peace, and love. Take care. Bye-bye.